Well, I've been casting my eye around the, um, the world's newspapers and periodicals, and um, by an extraordinary and happy coincidence, um, uh, it was a Scottish newspaper that actually produced um, what I thought was quite an arresting and engaging uh, headline. And, and I think, uh, Drinker, you're going to have to break it down for us <laughs> and tell us what's going on here. So we have Paul Shock, <laughs> critical drinker, now leading Humza Youssef as preferred leader of SNP. Were you aware of this? I mean, I'm relatively confident that this bottle of beer here is leading Humza Yusuf as leader of the SNP in the polls. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's like, well, there we go. My candidacy is now uh, up for everyone to know about. Um, mm. No, man, he is, uh, he's not the most popular leader that we've seen. Um, I'll say that much. And this is following in the wake of Nicola Sturgeon as well. That's impressive. I thought she was kind of popular. Didn't everyone like her? She was kind of polarizing, I think. Um, and then when all the expenses, um, or should, should I say the financial scandals came out, um, that was pretty much curtains for her. Mm -hmm. uh, and then mysteriously, all of her <laughs> WhatsApp messages relating to the COVID lockdowns have mysteriously yeah, disappeared. It's funny how that keeps happening to high ranking political leaders and no one seems to know why. Who knows? Anyway. Well, I mean, uh, I'm a good natural strategist. You're going to need a campaign manager. Are we doing this or not? Yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, cards on the table. <laughs> I need an answer. I want to become Emperor of Scotland, and I think this is the best way to go about it. So I'm in. <laughs> All right. Well, Despot is going to re retroactively make himself uh, eligible to be President of the, of the United States, and you'll be in Scotland. So I yep. don't know. Anyway, let's get to some actual news. Uh, this is also from a Scottish newspaper. One in three Scottish people now own a greyhound. Uh, so yeah, housing and funding drive leads to unpredicted success. Uh, so now I think you've just created a new problem on top of the old one. Uh, one in drive. three. Honestly, those yeah. are rookie numbers. You got to pump those numbers up. <laughs> uh, and lastly, this is from the Scottish Daily Express. Tatiana, I just want my life back. Uh, Eastern European pole dancer opens up about abduction ordeal. So, so lies. Uh, <laughs> she said she was up for it. <laughs> so I think this might uh, might actually scupper your campaign for SMP. So we're all kind of going backwards. Now. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, you you live by the sword, you die by the sword. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a hell of a ride, especially if you threaten an Eastern European pole dancer with an actual sword. <laughs>